Hey there zombie hunters, Jaxel here. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 15. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, why don't you smack the taste out of that like button as well. Alrighty folks, let's get to it. Uh, it's a little bit before the horde, so and I'm all set up. I've got all my ammo and everything produced, so I figured what I would do is I would come down here and I'd start doing a little bit of the brickwork and uh, get this all to button down I figure it's time now what I'm doing here just to show you is I am also putting these down and uh, I'm gonna be dropping these in between all of the trees here I just want to try and get uh, have a little bit of a clean look here so I figure if I'm gonna have the trees poking up through the brick I may as well uh, well work with it so that's what I is doing I'm gonna do my best here to get this done at least the perimeter done before the horde and let's get some more of these in oh man I am really excited for horde night again I'm hoping um, if I go stand down by the water that maybe I can get them to spawn from that side again. I really, really want them to spawn down there. So, because I'd like to keep them contained to the area I've already designated to fight in. So, if I can. If I can't, well, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. But, again, like I said in my previous video, they were spawning um, on the west side and coming and wrecking my shit earlier. So, I'm kind of wondering if maybe that's uh, maybe that's what they're gonna do again. No, I don't need that many. I'll go with ten. Get some of those crafted off so we can get these covered. Well, there we are, folks. Got all the fire pits in now. I did a bunch off camera uh, to begin with, just because, well, it was a lot of digging and a lot of screwing around, and I just wanted to get it done. So. Here we are. I did this all the sides along here. I'm not sure how much I really like this area here. This is so narrow, but I don't really want to uh, to push out any further either. So I think I'm just going to have to go with it. Live with it. That's all I can do. Now next on the order of business is I wanted to throw a bunch of plates down. Finish smoothing this off and then I can plant right down the middle of this strip here I have burned out so many bricks in the last uh, little while here well I made 300 uh, brick blocks because I got some plans for that coming up here so that was it for those so let's uh, quickly go and see if we can queue up a few more before we get too late in the day here Alrighty, folks, I queued up uh, another 150 downstairs, so I've got 40 for right now. Gets me a little bit more further ahead here. Now, yeah, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a whole bunch more here because I got I gotta go all the way down here yet, and I still need to. Uh, well, I'll finish this little piece off at least. At least I can know that this is done. There we go. I'm not sure exactly how I'm tying this all off after I'm done here. Um, but I'm going to have to look at something here real quick. Oh. Two left. Yeah, so we need another... Oh, we don't need that many. We only need like 40 and then that... Well, no, I need a whole bunch more. Because I want to come out too wide on this so that I can do plots of 10 all the way along here, which was the plan. Once I figured that out, and what I've also done along here is I've dug it all out and getting in, in preparation for making, uh, making it accessible underneath. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, um, leave these portions pushed out, and then this is where I'm going to make the entrance so there will be no entrance here 
but there's going to be an entrance here. Similar to like how this one's pushed in. This is, uh, well, takes up a spot of five. I'm hopefully going to be able to, uh, to mirror this all the way along. We'll see. But I really do want the zombies um, pushing in. I don't want, I don't want them uh, hang, uh, screwing around out here. I want them just to be able to walk in and get fucked up. So all these are going to get changed. That's why none of this has been upgraded. I'm leaving it all like this. Because I've got a lot of redigging to do in these sections to get them uh, how I want them. But I'm not going to connect any of this to the water at water's edge until I finish demolishing the inside. Once I'm done that, then uh, then I will start punching holes through to get it all opened up. Not until it's all buttoned down and dried and ready to rock. Now, do I have a garden hoe with me? Yes, I do. Good, good. Now, let's. Uh, I'm going to quickly run and go grab those other plates real quick. Alrighty, folks. Let's get a little bit more done here. I was able to pull off another hundred. So, what I was looking at here is the fact that if I go like this, and do I offset it by one and then just have that down the middle? Because it wouldn't be by the middle. No, that wouldn't work at all. I'm just looking at the, the width of these and I'm going to put the walkway like that. And now I've got to plot one, two, three, four, five. I like to keep it in groups of ten. I know their yields are not the same for for plant or for all the crops. Uh, I get that. It's just I put it that way because my brain. That's the way my brain works. I like to know uh, what I got planted and where. And I like to have like I make ten. I go plant ten. I like to keep it all lined up. Yeah, this is going to work perfectly. I like the look of this already. We've only got 18 left. Damn. So, one there. One there. Actually, I don't mind that. Finish it off with that single row here. With whatever I do along. Maybe I take this off. Hmm. Maybe. I just might. And that way I have a single strip of corn or whatever I decide to grow there. You know what? The last of my uh, stuff should be ready, so I'm going to quickly dip down and go grab the rest of that. Alrighty, folks, I'm back here. So I grabbed another 90. We'll see how far this gets us. Yeah, I don't know if that's even 90 more is going to be enough. It's still going to need probably... Oh, you dumbass. Of course I fucking placed one in the wrong spot. So where is that pickaxe? Let's go get rid of that right away. Now, I had thought about getting it all ready to go for the crops in here. Getting it all tilled tonight, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it empty for tonight. And, uh, well, just because I figure it's probably for the best. I don't need to have uh, crops planted right now, only to have cops blow up on them. We are four short, really. Oh, you got to be joking. <laughs> there we go, folks. Uh, I got, went and got the last few just to get that done. So now there we are. I think that's uh, 12 plots to, to plant on. So that's going to be a lot of cotton or whatever the hell else I decide to plant down here. So I'm happy with that. I could actually probably fertilize it all too with the amount of fertilizer. I have 120 fertilizer and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Holy, 15 plots. Nice. At 10 a piece, that's 150 items. I like it. Alright, let's go uh, get ourselves a little bit situated here. Um, I need to go upstairs and... Oh, why did I do that? You'll notice here that my workbench and cement mixer are gone from in here. I took all the stuff out of here as well. Um, I also uh, pared all the food down. There's literally not much staying down here. I don't want uh, things to get blown up. Actually, that was one thing I wanted to take out. 
because I'm moving to the third floor now, uh, being that, well, I'm working up on the, the, the second and third floor now. So this gets everything nice and close. So I've moved everything over into here. We've got a little bit of time to kill before the horde. And, well, I've decided, well, why not? I'm going to come down here and do a little bit of work. May as, may as well. Get rid of the lumps that I don't need there. All right, let's see if we can uh, find ourselves a screamer. I haven't pulled a screamer over here in forever, and I've augered and everything. <clears throat> well, there we are, folks. I just gunned down all those trees, and not one screamer. And I, oh man, those trees are a pain in the ass. I want the other ones. I'm gonna go grab those other. I'm gonna go do the pine trees again. I like the look. I like the look of the uh, of the maple tree, but I don't like how it fills up my area too much, and I can't see anything underneath the trees. The branches are just too low, and they kind of obscure the view. So I don't. I don't want to use those. Um, which one is it in? There they are. I don't need that many. I don't even think I need 50, but I'll bring 50. Because I can always toss out what I don't use. The rest of those can go away for now. And... Oh, I may as well. We'll use that right now. And we'll have a quick drink if we need it. We don't need it. Okay. Let's rock and roll. We got all of our guns. We can actually load a few of them up now. While we're heading out here. I am leaving all the doors open today. I want to make it, uh, except for the uh, the drawbridges, obviously I'm going to leave them down. And, uh, or leave them up, I mean. Derp. Okay, everything else is cleared out of there. And then we're just going to clear up over here real quick. We'll drop our last little bits of goods off. And then we're ready. All right, while we're killing some time here, I'm going to go plant some trees. And get the property lined up again. I don't know how much light the um, those are going to give off. I don't think they're giving enough. I'm going to quickly grab the torches. I want to be able to see uh, a lot better than I am. While I'm running around out here. Well, that little screamer test. That was a good haul with the with the uh, with the chainsaw. And well, let's see how many trees that was. I think it was almost 50. Almost. So 41 trees. Okay. Good to know. I'm gonna just quickly drop this shit off now before I go dropping uh uh, drop that off in there. Oh, man. I really should grab some wood frames. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to quickly go up and do that. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to wrap the episode up here. Got pretty much everything I can get done, done. I'm not going to bother putting torches down. I am going to go stoke the fires over here a little bit, though. And see if I can get a few of them up and running with some fire, uh... Maybe I can cause some fire damage to a few of them. We'll see. 300 is fine. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you smack the taste out of that like button for me as well. Thank you all for watching. I look forward to chatting with you all in the next episode when we face off with the Horde. Peace out and happy hunting.